Hey there, this is Safi coming to you straight from the University of Hertfordshire in Egypt's campus. We're here today to get some insights from the students and the professors. Let's see how UH can power your potential. Engineers, assemble! How are you doing, boys? As a civil engineer, what is a skill that you absolutely must have? You must have a good eye for design and understand building concepts, I think. Well, you have to be good in math and physics for sure. Um, decision making. Now, for me, the most important question when it comes to engineering always has to be, why do engineers always tell us they're engineers? Uh, well, uh, the world is, is divided into two groups, uh, engineers and not, so that's it. Kind of makes sense. Um, can you tell me a feature about this program that is very unique to UH and cannot be found anywhere else? Of course, uh, we have an application called StudyNet, which allows students to access their module electronically and uh, have conversations with other students overseas, not just on campus. And you get to be a chartered engineer as well. That's brilliant. Now, I've also been told uh, that the university offers a great and very prestigious work uh, placement program for graduate engineers. Can you tell me more about that? Well, yeah, uh, the university has a partnership with uh, top multinational companies, for example, uh, Roscom and uh, Oracle and Huawei. Wow, that is absolutely great. And last but not least, I mean, everyone has been raving about all this amazing lab equipment that you guys have going over here. Tell me more about it. What's the buzz? Uh, as you can see, we have the most advanced equipment in our labs uh, that helps us finish our work faster. Well, all or most actually the equipment are computer aided, which help us to get the tests uh, results as fast as possible and help us to finish our work very mm -hmm. fast. Well, uh, they forgot the most important thing, and it's, that it's on campus, and that helps us uh, with the process. And plus that, the tutors help us in every step of the way. Well, that is amazing. And speaking of your tutors, I'm off to chat with one of your professors. But in the meantime, because you're engineers and you have to put the word engineers in everything, let's hear engineers on three. One, two, three. Engineers. Engineer. Yes. And here we are in the civil engineering department to have a chat with one of the professors. Professor, can you tell us how the civil engineering department in UH is set apart from the other engineering universities? Well, to name one, we have in our backyard one of the biggest construction fields in Egypt, or probably the region. And as such, the students get to see a lot of construction projects as they're ongoing, and as such, they're very much of a hands-on learning. On the other hand, we have lots of ties with industry and other authorities that are dealing with construction in the country, so that's another venue where they have more hands-on learning and training. That is amazing. Now, what about the latest advancements in civil engineering that are being taught here at UH? Well, there's a big focus on sustainability, uh, sustainable construction methods, sustainable design, and as such, students get to learn a lot more about what happens with the environment. There's also a lot of uh, the modern tools that help uh, engineers do their jobs better, such as building information modeling and computer-enhanced or technology-enhanced construction methods. Doctor, thank you very much. Hey there, Safi here, and we are standing in the University of Hertfordshire's campus in Egypt. And today, there is a visiting delegation of academics, professors, and doctors from the UK. And we're here to have a chat with them. Let's see what they've got to say. And we are back in the engineering labs of UH to speak to Dr. David Thamert, CPL and lecturer of civil engineering. Doctor, could you tell us what sets the engineering program here at UH apart from other programs? It's really about that practical focus and the UK credential that comes with it. It's, it's that it, something that, that's recognized around the world as really an international standard. That's amazing. And as a lecturer of civil engineering, what are the skill sets that you think are absolutely essential for any potential civil engineer out there? Obviously, you need a command of mathematics, the sciences, the physical sciences that support that. But because engineering really is a people skill, it's a people serving profession, you have to be able to communicate. And if you can't communicate in writing, in verbal form, in graphical form, then you're not serving your clients, you're not serving the, the people whose lives you're trying to improve. Doctor, if I were a potential engineering student, those are the words that I really needed to hear. Thank you so much for your time and best of luck powering the potential of all these brilliant young minds. My pleasure.